Hey guys, okay, so story time here. So I had a day where I was completely in my head and out of the blue, I decided that I was going to go to a yoga class. And I haven't been to yoga class in, I don't know, like pre-pandemic. I haven't been to a yoga studio since before the pandemic. Um, you know, it's just been me at home doing my own stretching and practice and yoga with Adrian YouTube videos. And I've been totally okay with that. But the real reason I avoided the yoga studio for so many years was I used yoga and meditation to unknowingly bypass a lot of my traumas. And I think this is a pretty common thing and it served me until it didn't anymore and I came, you know, face to face with a lot of things that I needed to take a look at um, that I was trying to escape. And this made me very angry. I used to teach yoga, I used to work at a yoga studio, and why all of a sudden was yoga and meditation not working? And it was because I was using them as tools to escape what I was feeling. And there's other things that I did too. Um, I was a rigid exerciser and I rigidly controlled my diet and I rigidly wanted to control everything in my life and it's just impossible to do. You can't do it. And it hurts the more you try to control over time, the more it hurts. And I'm finding this in my own life a lot lately, that ideas of what I think I should be doing or how my life should be, they're, they're not grounded in maybe what the universe really wants for me. And I think that what the universe wants for all of us is to be happy and free and in tonight's class I was laying in Shavasana at the end of class and my little six-year-old was dancing and jumping up and down and running around in circles she was so excited that we were doing this my body told me thank you <laughs> for doing this for me. This is nourishing for me and my health and well-being and that that is number one. That is the thing that matters most right now. Not where I am and whatever location I happen to be. Not how much money is in my bank account or where I'm going to work or you know, all of these things don't really matter if we're not doing the basics of just taking care of ourselves. And being willing also to take a look at the things that aren't so easy to look at. I know this week I've been faced with so many things that I've been in denial about and then I haven't wanted to look at and I know that it's all happening for a reason for me to grow in the direction of my highest good, but it has been stressful and painful and I am fully ready to let go and surrender and let go of control and just go with the flow and trust again because I fell out of that for a while and I could definitely feel when I was out of alignment the choices I was making the, the things I was doing every day they they haven't been in alignment with who I am with who I know I am at the core of my being and they haven't been authentic to me 
and that's really painful. It's really painful and I'm ready to fully let go of this and I'm ready to look at things in a new way. So like going to yoga class tonight, you know, I felt almost like I stayed away for so many years because it brought up some huge triggers around the whole bypassing of all of the things that were happening in my life that, you know, I didn't know at the time and it was serving me at the time. But when I went in tonight, it was almost like I went in with a fresh pair of eyes and I was able to just be fully present and just fully in the moment and fully in my body. And that felt so good. And my whole, my whole being was just so, so relaxed and free, like right in the present moment. Like I didn't have to be anywhere else, be doing anything else. And it also reminded me that I can look at things in my life in a new way. Like I can go into something and not prejudge it based on past experience, just to go in and trust my intuition in the present moment of whether it's right for me and whether it's beneficial for me and to go from there because I found when I when I go ahead and get in my head too much about comparing something in the present to something that's happened in the past it's it's not necessarily the same thing you have to go from the present moment from the moment that you're in right now because that's all that we have, that's all that there is, is right here, right now. It's so simple, but it's so profound. And I was just touched by that. There's so many things that this class brought up and um, just reminding me that I can come back home to myself and find what feels good and that my inner GPS is the one that's really going to lead me forward from this present moment, from right now, from right here and right now in this space, being the woman that I am with my experiences, my knowledge and from who I am right now. And I can trust that. I can trust that. So anyhow, those were some thoughts from my yoga class tonight my first yoga class in many years I, I practice at home but you know it's so different being in community and talking with other people in class like we are meant to be in community we are communal animals we are meant to be interdependent we are meant to be um be in community and it's true medicine it really is true medicine i have strong faith in that and um tonight was a good remembrance of that so i hope you have a good night i hope you do something to take care of your body yourself your soul which is your true home and i love you very much